Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about Amazon MQ. So sometimes a company already has established uh, infrastructure in a corporate data center or on-premise, and uh, they might already be using queues and messaging between applications. So typically companies would use either Apache ActiveMQ or RabbitMQ. And if a company uh, in such case wants to migrate to the cloud or arrange a hybrid setup, then unfortunately they won't be able to easily use SQS, the simple queue service or SNS, the simple notification service, which we discussed previously. Uh, this is because SQS and SNS use AWS specific protocols in their messaging. Uh, whereas ActiveMQ and RabbitMQ use popular messaging protocols which are uh, available outside of AWS. Uh, so if a company wants to migrate to the cloud, they'll either have to set up everything from scratch in SQS or in SNS, or they can use Amazon MQ. So Amazon MQ uh, fulfills the function of both SQS and SNS, and it's specifically designed to support Apache ActiveMQ and RabbitMQ. So this is something to look out for on the exam. Whenever a company is migrating to the cloud, then the answer is Amazon MQ because they wouldn't be able to use SQS or NSNS easily. On the other hand, if a company is setting up everything from scratch on the cloud, then SQS and SNS are definitely the way to go. Here's a quick summary of what we discussed. I look forward to seeing you back here next time. Until then, enjoy the cloud.